what it is what it do fam welcome back to the say yes podcast and fam today we got a good video for y'all boys okay we got a good video for y'all this is a bisexual who had a wife and boyfriends talks with a christian now i seen this whole entire video y'all and i just was like bro this is too good not to share with y'all okay it is too good not to share with y'all so without further ado man hit the like button subscribe to no post notifications we're gonna watch this entire video through and i'm gonna give all my thoughts at the end of the video so let's get it let's go so the question that we've been going around asking well there's many but here's here's this one um do you believe that sexuality can be a choice no so you believe that this is something that you're born with and you're stuck with now okay so i have a few examples personally that i've experienced um where people who have gone one way mm -hmm. and in some time in their adult life have changed to another absolutely way. do you do you believe that uh, what, what do you think of that those I, well i was married twice Mm. And I have two kids. Okay. But I always had boyfriends. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Player and, in the house. <laughs> and uh, I... He looks so uncomfortable. He was so uncomfortable with that. Bro, just look at his face, bro. Look at the way that he... Bro, just look at his face. He was uncomfortable. Shoot. <laughs> Player and, in the house. <laughs> and uh, he had to look at the cameraman to see what the cameraman laughing to. Oh, man. Anyways, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I, I still find some women attractive. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, as for choice, I don't think I can sit here and, and choose to mm -hmm. be straight or choose to be straight. Mm -hmm. But you can choose who you be with is, is that's that's right. what you're saying. Okay. Right. Interesting take. Now, the, here's a question that um, my friend wanted to get implemented in this. Do you, uh, do you believe that there is maybe a natural order to how sexual, sexuality is? Like, you know, you have you have you know uh, you know with animals and plants, the male and female and stuff like that. Do you believe that uh, it's reasonable for there to be a natural order in sexuality, whether there's like the natural order is naturally male and female are attracted to each other under normal cases more right. more than likely, and it's more abnormal to do the other way. I grew up on a ranch, a big ranch in West Texas, mm -hmm. and I can't tell you how many times I have seen. Um, animals of the same sex mm. go have sex. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> it's just, it's part of, not a lot, mm. but you know, 10, 15 percent, yeah. 10, 15 percent? Yeah, I think that, I don't, I don't think there's a stamp. Mm. You know, if I'm attracted to someone, mm. and I don't know what that's called now. It used to be gay, straight, bisexual, and now there are all these terms, but mm. it's the attraction. Mm -hmm. It's the attraction. So, and I'm mostly attracted to men. Mostly attracted to men, sometimes attracted to women, mm -hmm. and you just choose who you want to be with and stuff like that. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Okay. And so, so I don't pursue women usually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> okay. And so now, uh, bringing in then the, uh, the, the religious factor to this, mm -hmm. are, are you a, a man who believes in God or a higher power? Uh, not in the classical sense, no. Okay, tip, break that down. Not in the <laughs> Let's get deep. Not in a classical sense. So what, Not what, in the classical sense. So what does that mean? I believe, I struggled with that for years and years. I was raised in a Baptist church, and I, it was hellfire and damnation. And I couldn't stand it. Yeah. Um, I got sober 38 years ago in AA, and they talk about God as you understand God. Mm -hmm. And that one... It, it, it took me a long time, but I finally came to the point. I was watching Carl Sagan's um, Cosmos, the original mm -hmm. series, mm -hmm. and he was standing outside of an observatory. There were like ten people over here, and he said, "Hold up your hand." He said, "That's stardust." He said, "Every molecule, every cell in your hand, everything you see around you was all all came into being at the same moment." And it's an energy that flows through everything, and you're part of it. Mm -hmm. That made sense to me. Mm -hmm. See, I can, I can do that with you. I can do that with you. Yeah. People that walking down the street. Yeah. Yeah. So in that sense. Oh. Okay. God damn, he follows me around. Come Everywhere. On. Come on. <laughs> you know if they do that, that, if they do that. People in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Love okay. you, darling. Man. They do that, they're gonna think I'm gay. <laughs> 
Stop it. You broke your wrist when you were You broke your wrist, man, a long time ago. Oh, man, that's so funny. Uh, okay, so so that that's something that you understood, that, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we, uh, the, the materials that made us came into being at the same time, that's right? right? That's now, right. now, does it, would, would it make sense then to go a step further at, at what started it all? What caused that the one, stardust? I don't have a clue. <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't have a clue. God, whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I, I feel like, uh, just to jump in here yeah. with my opinion, I believe that uh, reasonably, I think the most reasonable answer would be would be God's so a, a personal I intellect. That. You know, because I, I've 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 kicked that around and kicked it around, mm -hmm. and I don't. I just can't come up with an answer. I can't come up with an answer why one day I was drinking. Uh, the next morning I said I need help, and since then I haven't had a drink. Now, I couldn't quit, but I said, I need help, and it was over. Mm. Now, what was that? Was that God? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I can't explain I, it. I, it's, it's interesting that you have these experiences that I think are clear are clear indicators of the supernatural right. or you know, something that's above you, above your power. I above agree us. with that. Yeah. Okay, good. So we go with some, with yeah. something. If God was real, uh -huh. watching over you right. in your life, Helping you throughout your your, your sobriety, mm -hmm. sobriety and things of this nature, mm -hmm. um, and he had a character and wants and desires, right? Do you mm -hmm. believe that this God, this being, would be worthy of your service for you to surrender your life to him? No. Even as your creator, why is that? Because we're all the same. We're all part of it. There's no separation. Well, when it comes to no. when it comes to us, yes. Like we. We 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 are, we would be his creation. If there if there is a God, mm -hmm. uh, then he's part of it, or she's part of it, or it's part of it. Whatever you want. To Not if he created you. If he if he creates you, okay. he's he's who out he's him? outside. He would he would have to be the uncaused cause. Who, who, right? who, who created him? Well, it, it goes like this. Like just remember how everything was made at, at the same time, right? This is time, space, matter, right. everything, energy. Right. So then the creator would have to be outside of time, meaning timeless, not bound exactly. to it. Outside of matter, meaning so he'll be, have to be immaterial, not limited to matter, and spaceless, not limited to space. Got it. Right? So those those attributes are eternal, immaterial, spiritual, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, 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 omnipresent. Right. Right? So all of that stuff is reasonable. It literally logically makes sense. Okay, good. So then, I agree. So then God would be out, out of it, well, like separate from his creation uh, in a still, sense. But relational to you, like he... Wants you and and loves you Those enough. Those are good questions. <laughs> See, I've, that one nobody has ever. This guy's smart. <laughs> I appreciate You're it. You're smart. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank I you. like a challenge. I don't know. I, <laughs> that one you 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 scratched my curiosity. Awesome. I don't know. You know what? I can't tell you. Mm, that's okay. Well, I, I'll leave you with this um, because this one, this right here, this interaction, mm -hmm. the best that we've had today. It, it really is. I'm not. I'm not trying to flatter you. When he said that you're the best, I'm like, wow, I believe it. Well, but when it comes to you know your your personality, I, I just want to leave you with this: <laughs> that if there is a God, right, mm -hmm. and which I believe that reasonably we can work back to, like sure. we can. And I'm, not, and I'm not saying there's not. Yeah, I know you're not. That's but, why we're linking here. Yeah. That's why we're we're like, uh, kind of we have a, a working ground together. That's right. So I, I, if if this God is real, and I believe He is then he's worthy of our submission, worthy of our love and adoration, okay. and is deserving of us to turn to him, submit to him, and include him in our life, in our service. Okay. That's, that's what I'm that's I, saying. That's, those are your mm -hmm. My belief is that with um, everything being energy, that there is a power that I can't explain, mm -hmm. and it's called synchronicity. I drive up. I came over to see whose camera it was because I'm a photographer. Uh, so you, and you got guys your are attention. Talking, got my attention. And you're both very handsome. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> and um, uh, this didn't happen by mistake. Mm -hmm. It happened because I needed to have this conversation and you mm -hmm. needed to have this conversation. Yeah, exactly. If you want to call that God, that's fine. It, it, nothing I but. It, I, I, I call it synchronicity mm -hmm. because it. it, it I can't explain it. Mm -hmm. There was a woman who talked at a, an AA convention when I, I hadn't been sober very long. Mm -hmm. And we, she was talking about, in the, in the book Alcoholics Anonymous, 
Bill Wilson writes, a psychologist, that he's uh, a, a doctor that he's been working with for years trying to get sober. Mm. And the doctor said, with cases like yours, uh, I have never seen recovery from alcoholism unless there was a complete psychic change. And he had that change. When I said, I need help, I had that change. I didn't know it at the time, mm -hmm. but I had that change. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and out of that, uh, I'm a West Texas ranch boy. <laughs> and I was shooting for all these you know, national houses mm -hmm. and I'm like how the hell does that happen mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it happens because I'm a damn good photographer <laughs> but you know it was the people I met mm -hmm. and it was not planned yeah I didn't call you guys up and say meet right, me right. on the corner right right at right, Castle right. And yes Hartford, and there's, we'll do a little, yes you know, yes we'll set this deal out. right there's providence in this there's, there's God's sovereignty and I agree with that I don't like the word God and it comes from that little Baptist church mm. You know, it's like I I was, and I read the Bible. Mm -hmm. I stay out of Paul and all the other stuff. But you know, I have I've read uh, Krishna. I've read uh, Atsu, uh, uh All of the all of the great religions, mm -hmm. uh, and I've studied them through the years. They all say the same thing. Mm -hmm. Every one of us love each other, mm -hmm. take care of each other, and yeah. we don't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, 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 there is, there is one, there is one important difference that I would say. To you. Okay, yeah. The, the one important difference is, is that within Christianity, and please forget everything that you've. If, if I was uh -huh. like, forget the Baptist Church yeah, Bible, okay. right? Okay. Bible. But um, you're right that we have a lot of commonalities with the other religions right. about loving each other and doing good, mm -hmm. right? But within the Bible, here's one thing that is different: is that it deals with the problem of our sin and our iniquity right. within us. You know, right. that what is the real problem, you know? So, how you doing? Uh, so, you know, we, um, when it comes to, to the sin and our inclination, mm -hmm. our natural inclination, the Bible deals with this and tells us to turn away from our mm -hmm. sin mm -hmm. and to turn back to God. Which is, what, which is exactly what uh, Muhammad says. Well, and that's what Buddha says. So mm -hmm. all of this stuff about, oh, this one's right and this one's wrong is all bullshit. I don't think so, and I don't I think you. So. I don't think you think I that. I know so, <laughs> because I've read them all, and mm. they all say the same thing. Mm. So, so do they all teach that there's nothing that you can do to make yourself right with God, and that is by His it's grace not, and mercy? It, I, I'm not interested in making it right with God. Mm. I'm not interested in making it right with me. Mm -hmm. But if you are right it, with you. Right, and it's and it's maybe you might be on the wrong path. Let's say because some of us we're okay with ourselves, and don't know that we're not on the right path. You know, so it, sometimes oh. being right with ourselves yeah. is not always the good thing. It depends. Pick it up and bottle. It depends. I guarantee you that uh, I can do something. Mm -hmm. I can yell at somebody, or I can whatever, and I can't live with that. I have to go back and, and amend that behavior. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's that's something for me. Okay. Yeah. Now apparently it carries out into the world, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I I I agree. I can tell you're a strong <laughs> Christian. Yes, sir. What is this for? Uh, but uh, this, yeah. So it's one to have the have the conversation. Excuse me. And then two, hopefully, like in the conversation, to introduce God and Jesus and his love for us, his mercy, and what he calls us to do. Because obviously as a Christian, mm -hmm. I do believe that there is only one way. And uh -huh. it wouldn't be loving of me to withhold that information if I fully believe and, that that was the case. And I understand that, but I don't believe in heaven and hell. Well, if you don't believe in the judge, <laughs> don't mean you're not going to jail. I know. <laughs> so what? So that means... So that mm -hmm. is part of the experience. Yes. See, I believe in journey. Mm -hmm. I believe I have a journey and you have a journey and he has a journey. <laughs> And all of them have a journey. Mm -hmm. And if you're alive, you want to know what your mission in life is? If you're alive, you, uh, let's see, how does it go? If you want to know whether you're finished with your mission in life, if you're alive, it isn't. Bro, that look. Hey, 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 hey
Hey, hey, hey. No free promo. But, hey, that was amazing freaking video. Seriously. All jokes. Like, no. Nah, that junk was amazing, bro. I'm not going to lie. Like, I love when people can honestly, truly be honest with themselves. That atheist or agnostic or who, who, whatever he was. You know, even if he wasn't in a religion and he was just... He just don't believe in God, whatever, okay? But the fact that he can be truly honest with himself to say, like, God is not worthy of my worship. And he gave his reasoning. I could respect that more than I could respect a person that just blasphemy God and that just go super crazy over God and say, God is this and God is that and F God and all these different things. See, I could respect a person who could be honest with themselves. You know what I'm saying? And this guy was truly honest with himself. Now, there's a couple points that I want to mention uh, that he said throughout this video. Number one, the thing that he said about uh, everything is like a coincidence. Like he didn't say everything is a coincidence, but when he said that he asked for help and he just stopped drinking, like he couldn't stop on his own strength. Now that that is a big a big key. You, he couldn't stop on his own, but once he called out for help, it just went away. You know what I'm saying? It just went away. And I feel like in life sometimes it's like people want evidence of God. And when God revealed himself to them, they, they, they deny it. They deny that it was his power. They say that it was a coincidence. They say that it was this. They say it was luck. They say all these different things to fill in the place of what God truly done. And it's like, how can you want the evidence of God and God show you the evidence, but yet you still deny the evidence. You can't want evidence and deny the evidence also. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like a lot of people... They, we, cause we live in a culture where coincidence is a big thing. Luck is a big thing. You know what I'm saying? People say good luck. You know what I'm saying? Uh, people say, uh, oh man, that was a coincidence that we had that conversation. It was a coincidence that I ran into this person. I believe that everything happens because of the power of God. You know what I'm saying? And I had a bad habit of saying it was a coincidence. It was a coincidence, but no, it's because of the, it was the power of God. Sometimes we miss out the power of God because we want God to give us the evidence of his existence the way that we want it. You know what I'm saying? We want God to come down from the sky and show himself. We want God to give us an angel. You know what I'm saying? Give give us an angel just how he did uh, Daniel. You know what I'm saying? Like how uh, the angel Gabriel came to Daniel to reveal the vision that God gave to him. You know what I'm saying? Like we want that type of, that type of God. We want God to reveal himself like that. But in reality, it's like God's going to reveal himself whatever way he want to reveal himself. So if you want to reveal himself in the clouds, to us, like how when Jesus was getting baptized and he, the clouds and the heavens open, if he want to do that, he can. But God reveals himself to us in visions. And when we have dreams, we don't think it's from God. We just say that, oh, we just had a dream. Or, you know, when God show us these different things, we say it's all these other, we, we put in words to place the power of God. But we need to understand that everything is from the power of God. You know what I'm saying? That nothing is luck. Nothing is coincidence. Nothing is by chance. Everything is from the power of God. Uh, so I want to throw that out there. And then another thing that he said was uh, religion being the same and saying the same things. Look, the, the one thing that I can say about religion, I'm not a super religious educational person, I, a scholar. I'm not a, you know what I'm saying? I'm not like no super religious scholar. I did not study, uh, study theology. Like I didn't do none of that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I didn't go to no seminar school. I didn't do any of that. But I have studied a little bit of Islam. I have read a little bit about different religions. You know what I'm saying? I haven't studied them, but I read a couple things about them. And yeah, you're right. They all do say the same thing. And one big thing that I noticed that a lot of religions, majority of all religions that I have studied and read, they all point to Jesus. Now, it may not literally be them saying that Jesus is the son of God, but it's them mentioning Jesus Christ's name. And yet they may say the same thing, but how many of these religions are following the things that they're preaching? Muhammad said plenty of good things, but guess what? Did he follow any of these good things? You know what I'm saying? This man was a sinner like all of us. You feel me? And it's like, we know that we, if you are a true believer in Christ, we know that we need a savior. We know that we need a savior. I need a savior. I am a sinner. You know, I was born into sin. I'm not perfect. I'm not, I'm, I'm not Jesus Christ. I would never be Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I want to be more like him, but I would never be him. You see what I'm saying? Like these, these religions, they all take out from Christianity and put it into their own little twist. And that's just what they do. You know what I'm saying? That's what they do. They steal from the one true religion 
and they put it and they they turn the truth into a little they throw a little bit of truth in there but then they they mix it up with a whole bunch of lies you know what i'm saying sometimes it's like the cat williams interview it was a lot of truth in there but it was a lot of lies in there <laughs> you know what i'm saying but it was hard to detect the truth from the lies because it's hard to find out what's the truth in the theme full of lies. You feel what? Well, I hope that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? And when you get other religions, it's hard to seek truth when they're saying the same thing that the one truth is saying, but they're full of lies. So it's like, which one is true? Like, it's like they're saying the same thing, but they mixing it up with lies. And because you don't know what the lies are and you see that, oh man, they say, love your enemies, love this, love that, take care of one another. You're like, bro, they're all saying the same thing. How is one true and how is one not? And I get it. That can be super frustrating. And that's why you just got to see Jesus Christ for yourself and see what he can do in your life. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I think if you, if everybody just had a one true encounter with Jesus Christ and really, to, and really see what he can do and the power that is in his name, I feel like everyone would truly be saved. If you can truly seek Jesus Christ and understand the power that's within his name, I'm talking about the power. You you call on the name of Jesus and things start to change. You know what I'm saying? Friends start to leave. All things start to just go away. You know what I'm saying? That just That's how you know Jesus Christ is true. That's how you know he is real. You know what I'm saying? And then the last point. Well, his last two points that he said, uh, the third one was why why we should well, the third one I want to tell like tell you guys like why we shouldn't follow these religions. Uh, because number one, like I said, religion is a man made idea. Okay, it's a man made thing. Jesus didn't call us Christians, he called us disciples. You know what I'm saying? We was disciples, we are followers of him. Now, Christianity, that just means following Christ. But however, when you put Christianity on truly following Jesus Christ, people get ugh by it. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm a non-denominational, a non-denominational. Like I'm just non-denominational. I'm not with any religion. I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe in the son of God, which is Jesus Christ. I believe he died on the cross for my sins. I, I can believe in my heart and confess with my mouth that he's my Lord and savior. And I am saved and I live by his living word. I live by the truth. I at least try to live by the truth. I live a life full of repentance. That is, that's what I do. But I'm not going to sit here and follow religion because think about it. The Pharisees, they followed religion. When they followed religion, they missed out on the truth of Messiah because they were so focused about the good deeds that they do. They were so focused on not making a simple mistake. They was too focused on that that they missed out on the true coming of the Messiah. You know what I'm saying? So that's why we shouldn't follow religion. I would do a whole separate video on that topic because, bro, it's so deep because a lot of people follow this stuff. And then... Uh, he also was talking about that he don't like the word of God because of Baptist. I mean, because of the Baptist church. A lot of times we gotta we gotta truly find God for ourselves. Okay, <laughs> I'm not telling you not to go to church. I say pray and ask the Lord to give you a a church that is welcoming, a church that is truly about Him and not about money and not about fame and not about growing. I say pray and ask the Lord to reveal a church to you that is truly welcoming and, and honoring his name because it's a lot of churches out here that are false it's a lot of churches out here who who pastors are not preaching they're not practicing what they're preaching simple as that and that's why we can't go based off church hurt you know what i'm saying the church done hurt millions of people but this is the thing even if you don't go to church you can still make it to heaven. You can still make it to the kingdom. Now, church is simply a com is to be around a community of believers because we are the body of Christ. So we need to uplift each other, especially in the times that we are now. That's why I go to church every Sunday and I don't like mixing the day. It's not because, oh, God's going to be mad at me because I missed the day. No, it's because I need to be around my community because if I'm not around my community and I'm more around the people in this world, I start to distance myself from the Lord because I'm around this center, that center, this center. Now, we all sinners, but I'm around people that's comfortable in their sin so the more i'm around the people that's comfortable in their sin they start to motivate me to do other things and i start to kind of distance myself from god like hey god i don't need you i got this friend i got that friend but i got this friend cussing i got this friend having sex i got this friend talking about going to strip clubs i got this friend that's drinking i got this friend that's doing smoking i got all these different friends that's doing all these different things what you think i'm gonna do who you are is who you who you hang around is who you're going to become you ever heard the saying of show me your group of friends and i will tell you your future that is the truth you around a whole bunch of broke friends, guess what you go out to be? You're going to ought to be broke, especially if you're around them 24-7 throughout the, throughout the day. 
You're going to be broke just like them because you have nothing else going for yourself but being around them and getting drunk and getting high. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I stay in my community at church. That's why I go to church. And, I, and I'm blessed to have a church home that's all about sharing the word of God instead of all about tithing, get your money, come on. We need all the bread. I'm glad that I'm not a, at a church like that, but I say pray about it. You know what I'm saying? Church, church hurt can distance us from God, but it should never distance us from God because if you have a true relationship with God, then you will never... You know, you would never run away from him, no matter what people may say against your God. You would never go away from God because if you have a genuine relationship with him and you're living in relationship, not religion, a church cannot run you away from the truth. A church cannot run you away from your creator. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you just go into church and that's and that's your whole entire lifestyle and a church hurt you, of course you're going to run away because all you was doing was you was doing it for the aesthetic of it. You was doing it just to, I'm going to church, guys. I, I am a believer in Christ. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we need to uh, <laughs> we need to definitely do better in that area in our life. You know what I'm saying? I get it. People are church hurt, but don't let that make you don't give that. Don't make that an excuse for you running away from God. Simple as that. OK, get in relationship, repent for your sins and truly trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. All right. That's that's it. That's it. OK, that's just a simple thing that we have to do as believers in Christ. OK. But I love y'all, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications. It's been you, your boy, the Say Yes Podcast. So y'all, I made look, it's a whole new channel. So give me some grace, okay? Because I almost said my old channel name. But it is the Say Yes Podcast, man. And I got uh I already had a video that dropped my testimony video before this video. So yeah, man. I hope you guys stay around. This this channel is gonna blow. In the name of Jesus, okay, we're going to keep praying on this channel. Keep praying that this channel grow, 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 and reach the people that it need to reach. So, yes, man, I'm trying to build a body of believers around here, okay? <laughs> we need a body of believers around this, around this peace. Now, nah, for real, but I love y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.